What is up guys, welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow and today we're talking about iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2 and of course we're talking about WWDC event. So in order to start up we're going to uh, start of course about iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2 which is not something very important from Apple, it's just a small release for developers which contains uh, just one important feature which is, of course, the ability to open and to have activated night shift and low power mode at the same time. This is one of the uh, features that a normal user can see. And um, the, um, the actual purpose of this update is having the, um, I don't know, the simulator updated. There is a problem with the dictionary that it's, um, it seems to be fixed in this beta. And this is basically how it goes. It's just a small iOS 9.3.x update, but it poses a new threat. Why? Because it means that Apple is continuing to uh, release iOS 9.3.x updates. Hopefully this one is the latest, but apparently it is not. So what's the problem? You can see right here the, um, the date is yesterday, April 20, 2016. And um, you probably know that on, um, on June, is the WWDC event, the World uh, Developer Conference, of course, which is um, organized by Apple in um, actually every year. And what's the problem? They are preparing for that event with, of course, iOS 10. If iOS 10 is going to get released on June, this means that iOS 9.3.x should have settled down a little bit and should, haven't, should have not uh, received any betas, but of course it did. And um, this has a bad consequence for the jailbreaking, and this is why I'm making this video, in order to announce you that there will probably be a slight bigger time frame until Pangu or Taiji will release a jailbreak. I know, I know, probably a lot of you started to cuss already and to... Um, and to say fuck and things like that. But yes, this is the problem. If Apple continues to bring up data for iOS 9.3.x, it means that jailbreak developers have to wait until iOS 9.3.x get a final release and a stable one, because as I explained in my other videos from this jailbreak playlist that you can check on this card right now, or in the, you know, in the um, description, if a jailbreak is released, for example, for iOS 9.3.1, the uh, current stable version, and they release, they release it and you can download it and that's it. When Apple releases iOS 9.3.2, finally for the public, they will kill the jailbreak. Of course they, they will do that. And you will have to wait again. And it simply doesn't worth the, uh, the work for, um, for a simple version. So, what jailbreakers are trying to do is to wait for the uh, the final version of iOS 9.3.x in order to make a jailbreak that will last at least until iOS 10. This is what they want. Probably Apple won't let them to do that. Of course, after the jailbreak will be released, probably Apple will drop a new iOS version, iOS 9.3.x version, in order to kill that jailbreak. But this is why it takes so long. I know, it's been... Let me think, uh, iOS 9.1, well, it's been a few months uh, since the jailbreak has completely died in this scene, I mean, uh, on the public releases. Of course, Pangu is working on it, a lot of developers are working on it, um, look at the Desco, for example, which he's not going to release anything, and we can't blame him from for that. And uh, this is basically how it goes. They have to wait until Apple drops a stable release and stop dropping betas and start concerning themselves on iOS 10. Of course, they did that already. Because as you can see, iOS 9.3.2 has only two betas and probably will remain only with two. Uh, but this doesn't mean that you can release right now a jailbreak. And probably most of you have asked yourselves, why the hell there is no jailbreak released yet? Um, iOS 9.3 was released uh, back in March, I think 21, March 21 at the event when uh, iPhone SE was released too. I know, I know the problem, but 
you have to take in mind to keep in mind that Apple are, Apple are in a complete um, change. The guys from Apple are always changing the um, the iOS infrastructure, and of course, this has bad consequences to the jailbreak. Just check this out. On March uh, 21, iOS 9.3 was released. On March 31, iOS 9.3.1 was released, making the jailbreakers to change their mind about the releases, and of course, making them to try again to break in this firmware in order to see if something has changed. After that, and after they thought they have the uh, the tool ready for um, for for getting published, Apple decided to drop iOS 9.3.2 Beta 1, and now. When everybody thought they will stop making iOS 9.3.x, they dropped iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2. Those sneaky guys at Apple. Yes, this is basically how it, go how it goes. I don't know if you can see or anybody else can see, but there is a small mute fight between the jailbreakers and Apple. Apple is continue continuing to release dummy updates. I mean, this, this can't even be called an update. I mean... It's a very, very small thing designed for developers and it contains uh, updates for the simulator, for a dictionary, uh, something like that. Some non-important features nobody cares about. But of course, by releasing a new firmware, it means you have to, um, to grab yourself the new firmware keys, which is IV, IBSS, uh, iBoot, kernel cache, and so on. A lot of components for which you have to decrypt the key and you have to break into the component after you decrypt it with IDA Pro or Hopper if you are on a Mac. You have to disassemble it and see if there is some um, some new feature is in introduced or if Apple patched anything. You should probably ask me, but George, can't you simply show a uh, release log? No. You know why? Because they don't have one. I mean, iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2 doesn't even have a release log on the um, on this thing. It simply asks you to, um, to sign in, but, but, there is a but, check this out. You see this, this little and innocent statement right here? This is a pre-release version of iOS 9.3.2 for iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Devices updated to iOS 9.3.2 cannot be restored to earlier version of iOS. You know what this means? It means that if you are on iOS 9.3, which is currently signed, I don't know why, but it's currently signed, let me show you. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna put pause and be back. Here we go, we're on IPSW Central, a website I really like a lot. And I featured in my other videos. Thanks for the uh, for Xander Brown, one of the developers behind IPSW Central, for mentioning me and thanking me for uh, mention. So, if we go right here on uh, the iPhone and we select, I don't know, an iPhone, and I'm going to select uh, 5s. Let's see. And we go here. As you can see, iOS 9.3. I mean, not not 9.3.1. 9. 9. 9.3 is signed. You can receive blooms, you can actually downgrade your iPhone back to iOS 9.3. But look, what is the problem? If we go right here, it says that you cannot restore to an earlier version. So if you are on 9.3 or 9.3.1 and you update to iOS 9.3.2 beta, you will not be able to go back to iOS 9.3.1 or iOS 9.3. Those sneaky guys, which you probably don't understand why, uh, you probably don't care, but the, the reason is basically very, very easy to be understood. If they get you stuck on iOS 9.3.2, if a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.1 is released, or for iOS 9.3, you will not be able to downgrade back and get the jailbreak. So, they caught ya. This is the problem. So do not update to iOS 9.3.2 Beta 2, at least not for the moment. If you are on 9.3, I recommend you to stay there. If you are on iOS 9.2.1, I recommend you to stay there. And if you if you are jailbroken, you should not, under any circumstance, update to iOS 9.3.2. Of course, because you will lose the jailbreak and the ability to jailbreak for the moment. This is everything about iOS 9.3.2. In fact, you, you don't even have to touch it. You don't even have to buffer about it. It's not something important. It's just the cat and the mouse game played by Apple and the uh, jailbreakers around the world. 
So now let's close this one and go right here, which is apparently a page with code. <laughs> no, it's not. So, <clears throat> it says print hello, WWDC. Yes, it's World, uh, Apple World Developer Conference or something like that. And the location will be San Francisco. As you can see, they have a great page right here, which it looks like a code, which is of course uh, obvious, we're talking about developers. And uh, the labels say hands-on, Apple engineers 1000, ses sessions 100. And the date will be uh, June between 13 and 17. WWDC 16. Game changing, they said. Learn more, they lied. So, let's go right here and say hello love at first swipe, other side of the road, yogi on my, on my wrist, driver fast as you can, uh, as you can work out in my living room, every pitch, every highlight, self-combusting selfies, double tap heart, rain in five minutes. Well, what's the point? What's the link between rain and apple? Anyways, six seconds of fame and big idea. And it says Apple Worldwide Developer Conference, June 13, 17, San Francisco. The opportunity to buy tickets to this year's conference will be offered by random selection. Register now, you don't want to lose it. So what's the uh, the issue with this? They will talk basically about uh, iOS 10, about the new version of OS 6, uh, probably about the uh, tvOS and watchOS. And this is basically what they do every year. It's a conference, they're, they're talking more about their products than anything else. And a lot of developers are paying a huge amount of money in order to attend to this. But it's very important because it will reveal things about iOS 10 and probably, I guess, iOS uh, 10 first beta will be seeded for the developers and of course for anyone else who wants to get the IPSW and uh, this is very important probably by game changing I think I know what what are they talking about I think they're talking about jailbreak probably they want to kill it uh, I don't want to be the um, to be the uh, the bad thinking person right here but uh, I'm a little bit skeptical about the uh, the jailbreak for the moment when it comes to iOS 10 because Apple can do something and will do something in order to kill the jailbreak in a near future. As you can see, it's getting harder and harder to jailbreak nowadays and uh, Apple took the, uh, the jailbreak very serious and um, the only reason they, they are not making it illegal is because it is legal. They tried in the past, I mean they really tried in the past to make the jailbreak illegal and uh, to take it out of the DMCA, but the DMCA uh, protocol actually um, pleaded in the uh, in the favor of jailbreakers because it basically means modifying your phone, and I think it's not something wrong to modify the phone I paid for, and uh, it's mine. I, I guess I can smash it if I want. I can be like Tekrax if I want. I can take it and I can drop it from 100 feet, and yeah. This is basically it. Apple can say what to do with my phone. And uh, of course, you are not allowed to sell parts of iOS and code and anything else. But seriously, I, I, I never saw any jailbreaker selling uh, iOS code to individuals. I mean, <laughs> it's something logic. But as you probably see, Apple started to learn from jailbreakers. I mean, the most used tweaks are getting are going to become, uh, I don't know, features in iOS, like the night shift. The night shift usually uh, was, in the past, was a tweak. Well, it, it wasn't called night shift, but there was a tweak that did exactly what night shift does. And uh, it was very used by people. And of course, Apple, Apple was like, hmm, the guy that created this tweak is very smart. Why can't we steal the tweak? Basically, they didn't. I mean, <laughs> look at iOS 9.3. It's okay that they're learning from it and they're trying to make iOS better and I don't know, you, you got the idea. But they're putting a lot, a lot of pressure on Tangu, on Taiji. Uh, they're not pu putting pressure on I, I Hate Snow because he uh, haven't released any jailbreak tool uh, in a few years. And not on Look at the Desco that will probably never release a jailbreak tool. And as I said, we can't blame him for for that. But on the teams that are actually um, that are actually involved in the development of uh, real tools that are downloadable by persons, 
Uh, it's it's a very big pressure. I mean, it's a cat and a mouse game. You know, I make a jailbreak tool, you come with a new firmware and you kill my jailbreak. I try to make something new, you try to make something new. And you are in a much bigger advantage than me. I mean, I have to break your code and uh, in order to create my tool. You just have to patch it in order to escape. And this is basically it. This is basically why it takes too much and this is basically why Apple releases a lot of um, dummy, fake, whatever you want to call them, uh, iOS updates that have have no um, have no um, no point. But yeah, if we click on register now, I want to show you the price. The price is fifteen. Uh, no, sorry, one one thousand five hundred ninety nine. One one thousand six hundred dollars. I mean, seriously, man, this this is the fucking price of of a MacBook. The new MacBook in the rose gold color has nearly the same price. I mean, seriously, just for attending an event? Anyways, uh, I, I think there are people who will probably pay this um, this money to uh, attend the event, but um, I don't think there is something very important. And of course, you don't have to pay for this uh, event. You can actually see it on YouTube after afterwards. And uh, yeah, but anyways, this is basically what is Apple uh, doing right now. They are releasing fake and dummy um, <laughs> updates in order to keep the jailbreak away and probably they will start focusing on iOS 10 and by that time the jailbreakers will have a chance to release something. But for the moment, keep your expectations and stay with an eye on this channel for more updates. I really, I really hope you liked this video and I really hope I was uh, clear enough about Apple's direction and about Apple's intentions and yeah do not forget to subscribe to like to share and so on and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video have a great day goodbye